Today's video is gonna be a comparison video between the Focusrite 2i2, between the spoke. Today's video will be a comparison video between the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 or the Behringer UMC 404 HD. What's going on YouTube fam? Coach here. A little while back, I posted a video review on the Behringer UMC 404 HD. It's an audio interface. I'll post a link right over here. I'll put a card and there'll also be a link down below in the show notes. To my surprise, there's been tons of questions, tons of interaction, a lot of great positive feedback. That was my first video ever and I thank you so much. I'm very grateful and I will try to keep these coming for as long as you guys want them to come. So thank you very much. This is kind of like a QA. and a I try my best to answer all your questions. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will get to them as soon as I can and as best as I can. In the best way that I can? You know what I mean. Jonan GTR writes, Focusrite 2i2 or Behringer UMC 404? Good question. Aha. 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 So this is a very, very good question. I was thinking the same thing myself when I went to purchase the Behringer UMC 404. Reason being, they're both right in that same $99 price range, $100 price range, right? It was a tough decision. What we're gonna go over, I think we should do a comparison. It's the tail of the tape. Round one, fight! On the left, we have a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. On the right, we have Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD. The first thing we see is that they are both USB powered, which is great. If you wanted to take this on the road, do a live DJing gig maybe, go to your friend's studio, your friend's house, record in a public place, just do something creative. You can definitely get great audio from both of these on the road without needing to be plugged into any external power source. They both have a headphone output. We'll get back to that one in just a little bit. Direct monitoring or zero latency monitoring, however you wanna put it, Pretty much the idea is that you can hear what you're recording at the exact same time that you are recording it without any delay. They both have phantom power, so they can power your condenser microphones. And note, because it's USB powered, the phantom power is also powered by the USB power, right? Once again, they're evenly matched when it comes to bit depth and sample rate, 24 bits, 192 kilohertz of samples. So this is very good. They're both very high quality. Here's where they start to differ a little bit. The Focusrite has the infamous, famous, wonderful, smooth sounding Focusrite preamps. And the Behringer has its Midas preamps, which are award winning as well. Um, it turns out that the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 is actually, as they say on their website, the world's best selling audio interface very good and they're both very high quality i don't think one wins over the other in my opinion but that's up for you to determine here's where more differences start coming in the focus right has two combo inputs as you can see right at the top right over here and the behringer has four combo inputs one point behringer status signal led clip light well, the Behringer doesn't have any at all, actually. So you won't really know unless you're looking into your DAW if you're getting too much signal, if you're running it hot, if you're gonna be getting digital distortion or any of that, or if you're getting signal at all, for that matter. Where the Behringer actually has for each channel, status signal, LED clip lights. The Behringer has a pad on it. Focus right, no pad. What's up, focus right? Now I couldn't find exactly how much that pad is, whether it's a 10 dB or a 20 dB or a 15 dB pad. Regardless, it has a pad. The Behringer has a AB monitor switch. Perfect for DJing, mm, right? Or have two sets of monitors so you can AB your mixes, make sure they sound good through different monitors. The focus right, none. Down again, you have a stereo mono switch, which I love, I've been using it since I got it to do my mixing. I like to mix everything in mono and stereo, mainly mono, and then I open it up to stereo. But regardless, I have that option in the Behringer. I don't have that option with the Focusrite. 
Woo! That's a lot of zeros on the focus right side. Ooh, it's getting nasty. The Behringer comes with a MIDI in and MIDI out inputs. Focus right, none. Euphoria UMC 404 has four quarter inch inputs. This way you can run external gear. Let's say you have an external rack reverb or some kind of delay or something that you want your signal to run to and run back. You can do that. Can you do it in the focus right? I don't know. All right, here's where the focus right wins a couple points. Focus right, Scarlet 2i2, weighs 1.9 pounds, much lighter. Because it only has two inputs, it's about half the size of the Behringer, which weighs 3.55 pounds. So it's more portable, more compact, easier to take on the road. <laughs> Some people may love that fact. Sometimes you do need things to be very, very compact. Focusrite would be the way to go on that one. Here is probably the biggest difference. Focusrite 2i2 has two quarter inch outputs, where the Behringer UMC 404 has four quarter inch outputs, two XLR outputs, and four RCA phono outputs. The outputs just keep on coming. They just keep coming. So as for outputs, Behringer gets one or two more points. And Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 has a shorter name. Behringer, your name is long. So there you have it. That was the review. We had the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 versus the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD. <gasps> which do you think is better? Or which do you think is just right for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Which do you think won the battle? Until next time, this is Coach, out. You lose.